Good morning vlog! Good morning! <laughs> this morning, we are ready to eat again. We're going to Addiction Aquatic Development. Also what an interesting name. I know, huh? it's a very interesting name. I've been there a few times in the past. I don't think Bird's been there. Never. Ever. Which I, I'm so shocked because I thought that we went there together, but I guess not. Nah, I think I did. I skipped out that one. I totally thought you were there. But anyway, <laughs> we're gonna go eat there for lunch. After that, we're gonna go shopping. For Taipei wants to go 101. Shopping. He wants to shop at Taipei 101. And then we have a wedding to go to at night. It's my childhood friend that I've known since I was two years old. Wild. Absolutely that's, that's wild. That's wild. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, let's go to lunch. Let's go. You gonna give us a tour? No, I don't know you. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, we got our drinks. I got a pearl milk tea. What did you get? Jasmine. No, is it pearl premium? Oh, pearl premium. Jasmine, Jasmine milk, tea. milk tea. And we have our Mamie straws. Nice. Mm. The tea flavor is not as strong. Yeah. It's more like creamy and frothy. It's more like a subtle tea flavor. Yeah, I feel like the tea flavor is kind of strong, but in a subtle way. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah, it's, it's definitely there. It's just subtle. It's not like as in your face as the American flavor that I'm mm, used to. That's true. And these are way more expensive than the other boba shops. Yeah, this size is $1.90, which is like $6. Yeah. Yeah, pretty expensive for Taiwan. If you're coming to Taiwan to get boba, I feel like you can get better boba for cheaper. And like, I know it's the first place that invented boba and stuff, so there's all that, mm -hmm. but it's like, it is expensive. I think that's a thing, like, I can't get over it, you know? It's like double the price. It's like double the, the price normal, of other places. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also that the boba here is small, which I I personally don't I like. like. That bad. Bird likes it. I like that part. I don't like it. I like my boba to be normal size. When I came here four years ago, I found this boba wheel cake stand in this basement food court. I'll put the location in the description box. I want to see if it's still here because I want to get a boba wheel cake. But we'll see if I can find it or if it is still open. Hopefully it is. <laughs> All right, we searched the whole floor and we didn't find it. But we did ask a very nice lady to help us. Or like we were asking her if it closed, which I, I think it did. But maybe I think it moved locations is what she was saying, kind of. So it's actually at a nearby building to this. So we're going to head there now. Hopefully it's still open and we can find it. across this cute area with these lanterns so pretty and there's lots of little booths where they're just like selling stuff and I realized there's a, a Chen Shui Tong here <laughs> so if you want boba wheel cakes you want to try Chen Shui Tong you can do it all in the same area we got our boba wheel cakes they're both the same they're the boba custard wheel cakes one for me one for her and they smell so good oh my god it smells so good okay. oh my gosh so perfect that's the name of the place. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. 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 Oh, and it smells like boba, like brown sugar. Okay, let's try. Mm. Has a nice crisp on the outside. The flavor of the wheel cake is similar to like a waffle. Then you have the ooey warm custard on the inside, the chewy boba. I like the custard. And the boba is actually really good. Mm-hmm. How to? How to? Look at this sign. 
nice price here. Is that the version of saying it's a sale? <laughs> or like clearance or something? Yeah, like That's pretty funny. Look at this sweater. Oh my god, cute! Oh, this is such a cute Christmas sweater. So they have a Rick and Morty one, and then... Uh, oh, this is Star Wars 2? And then there's another Star Wars one. Wow, they really like their Star Wars. <laughs> you guys, look how pretty these trees are! Beautiful! Christmas! Christmas time! <laughs> We just finished shopping, now we're heading back and we have to get ready to go to the wedding! You guys, the weather here is so up and down. Like, today was super cold. I'm wearing a sweater and I was cold. And it's a little misty. Like, it's been raining on and off a little bit. But literally two days ago, it was 84 degrees! It was so hot! I was hella sweaty! sweaty. <laughs> the weather here is so unpredictable. But fun! But fun! <laughs> Good morning vlog! Last night we went to the wedding, it was super fun. Ate some good food. Ate some good food. But today is our last full day in Taiwan. I mean tomorrow we have a lot of the day because our flight's late, but today's our last full day. Bird really wants to go to the zoo. He was like, that is on my must-do list when I'm in Taiwan because in That's the past we went to the zoo. It was two dollars to get in. I don't know if the price raised yet, but but there's also a lot of animals. There's a lot of animals and there's pandas and they move. They don't just sleep. <laughs> At least when I went, they were moving. So yeah, we are going to the zoo. We're gonna go eat stuff as well, of course. And the good thing about the zoo is that it's like a conservation zoo. And it only takes an animal if they think that they can do a good job of taking care of it. So yeah. Bird looked into the zoo and the ethics behind the zoo and stuff. And they also rehabilitate animals, so. Very nice. Very swag. <laughs> Good job, Taipei Zoo! Good job! <laughs> oh, and then we're gonna eat beef noodle soup and then go to a night market. Yeah, Bird Bird still hasn't gone to a night market, so Whoa. it's his last day, we have to go to one. Let's go! Let's go! Still $2! Wow. They didn't even raise the price! There's a 7-Eleven in the zoo. I remember I went here and got papaya milk. We're gonna hopefully get some onigiri because we're hungry. All right, we ended up getting this seafood salad onigiri. We'd never tried that one before. The one in the back, it's a grilled salmon and mentaiko onigiri. And then we have a kimchi pork. <laughs> and then we also got a strawberry milk and a papaya milk. This is our 7-Eleven Taipei Zoo Hall. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at the sleeping koala! So cute! So cute. Adorable! Happy eating! Yum 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 yum! Whoa! 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 Oh my goodness! Wow! I love pandas! They love to eat and sleep just like me! This dome is worth the price of admission alone. <laughs> to it too. There's also a bunch in the back too. Look at the one eating. <laughs> so cute. Look at the giraffes. Oh my gosh, now there's three of them. No, there's four. Oh, there's four. Another one's coming. 
Wow, we came at such a good time. So cool. We had so much fun at the zoo. Very cool zoo. Yeah, we only spent like two hours there. We definitely could have spent more time. Yeah. But we need to go eat beef noodle soup later, so, so we have to rush. But we're going to the gondola now. Gondola! I'm very excited. So if you have one of these, this is the MRT card. Or it's also called the Easy Card. You can just use this. You don't actually have to buy tickets. So you can use this to get in. And this is the normal cabins. It has no line. This, the line that we're in, is the crystal cabins, which has like the clear floor. And this has a long line because <laughs> everyone wants to do the crystal cabins. Malcolm? I don't know, but Malcolm? I don't know. <laughs> but, but we have to already go back. You can stay and like hang out here. Apparently they have lots of like trails and tea houses that you can check out, but we have to go back and eat some beef noodle soup and eat other things, night market and other things. We're on a mission. Yeah, <laughs> so we're gonna head back. Beef noodle soup time. <laughs> We got our own! Nice! Okay, wait, this is such a pro tip actually yeah. because we lined up for the crystal cabin on the way here and the line was super long. We had to wait way longer than for the regular cabins and then we had to share one with other people, which was nice. They actually were like yeah. American, so we were just talking with them. But yeah, we saw that when we lined up here, the regular cabin line was longer than the crystal cabin. So we were like, oh, let's just go to the crystal cabin line. Yeah. So it was way faster. So I would recommend when you go from the zoo station to the Malcolm station, take the regular cabin and then once you get here and you want to go back then take the crystal yeah because now look we have a crystal cabin all to ourselves too nice, nice. amazing <laughs> Bird randomly wanted to get crepe cakes. So we are at Lady M. It's one of the only types of cake Bird like because he doesn't really like cakes. He's so excited, look at him. <laughs> he got a pep in his step. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Bird got tiramisu and he already, he did not wait, but it's okay. Fun to eat. Fun to eat. Yeah, I actually got Bird one of these, a whole cake of the tiramisu crepe cakes for his birthday a few years ago. Because it's a, one of the only cakes he likes. Mmm. Indeed, fun to eat. Hello vlog. We are at Muji Beef Noodles. We went back home and changed a little bit because it got more rainy. I'm wearing Bird's hoodie because it's warm and has a hood to protect my head from the rain. Anyway, we just ordered and I'm gonna film this one for the main channel. So if you wanna see a full review, check out the main channel video. It probably won't be out by the time you see this. I saw that some of you guys were wondering what my main channel was, which made me so shocked because I just always think that the people that watch the vlogs came from the main channel. But I guess some people are finding the vlogs without knowing the main channel first. So the main channel, it's called Feed Mei Mei. I'll put it on the screen <laughs> and I'll link it in the description. I started linking it in the description for all my vlogs so that way you guys can find it. But yeah, anyway, we're gonna eat. Here we have it, the pepper bun. <laughs> Bird requested specially, he has to have the pepper bun. Mm, good stuff, very oniony. Oh, look at that, it's filled with green onion and pork, pepper pork. <laughs> Look at the perfect crisp on the bottom. All right, 
our second street food of the day. We got this, I don't even really know what it is. It says juicy chicken meat roll. And then they have different seasonings you can choose from. We got the chili one. Ah. Oh, super steamy. Very juicy. Ooh. Oh, very good. Wow, yeah, it's like crispy skin on the outside. Inside's really juicy. Alright guys, we did it. We got stinky tofu. Disclaimer, me and Bert are not stinky tofu people, but we figured we should, you know, try it, have some while we're in Taiwan. So go ahead, Bert, do the honors. Honestly, not too bad. The first few bites, you get a lot of flavor. Uh-huh. But once you start eating more, the flavor kind of dissipates. Yeah, not bad. Okay, let me try, let me try. Not super stinky taste. It's just really nicely crispy and fried on the outside. And the inside, it's kind of like a sponge. Like it soaks a lot of the sauce, but it's not a stinky sauce. It's just kind of like a savory and a little spicy because I added some like spicy yeah. onto it. Surprisingly, I'll chew. We just went to Kabuka right here. And we got a green tea with white gourd, which is winter melon. White gourd and winter melon are apparently the same thing. And look at their cups, they're so cute. We got Pluto, Goofy, and Mickey. <laughs> Not sweet enough for you. I see. Not sweet enough. <laughs> One of the reasons Bird likes getting winter melon is usually really sweet. But this one's not that sweet. No. It's refreshing though. Yeah, it is. And we got it with um, crystal boba. Yeah. All right, our final stop at the night market, we got this Tongan shaved ice. So usually, like with their most popular one, it comes with six. So it comes with three peanut, three sesame, but me and Bird like sesame better than peanut. So we just got all sesame. So it comes with five. And then there's the shaved ice on the bottom. And then once you finish eating the Tongan glutinous rice balls, you add this osmanthus syrup on the shaved ice. Yum, yum, yum. Mm, tasty, <laughs> very sweet. So good. Mm. Hello vlog. We are back at our apartment and we're getting ready to pack all our stuff. It's probably gonna take me a while because I packed, you know, a month's worth of stuff because I was gone for a month. On top of that, I bought some stuff, kind of a lot of stuff. So <laughs> yeah, got a lot of work to do in the packing department. But yeah, we're gonna basically spend the rest of the night packing go to sleep. Tomorrow is our last day, which is really sad. I'm trying not to think about it too much. <laughs> like literally this trip flew by. I can't believe it was a month long trip for me. It didn't feel that long, like at all. But yeah, tomorrow we do still have a good chunk of the day to do stuff. I do want to go to Costco. That is like my main thing that I'm trying to do tomorrow. And I'm trying to film a main channel video of all the Taiwan Costco stuff. So that's the biggest thing on my agenda tomorrow. But yeah, <laughs> anyway. We're gonna pack, go to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning vlog. Look where we are. Costco. I'm so excited. Let's go inside. <laughs> filming the food court food for the main channel. Now we're just walking around to see what, what, they, have. what they have and what's different from the US. So let's take a look. Onion beef rice burger. Oh, it's like the ones that have rice as the patty. They have some BB ghost stuff, japchae, dumplings, 
Oh, they have those those corn dogs that we tried in the Korean corn dog video. Wow, kimchi cheese fried rice. I'm sure you can get this at H Mart, but they have it at Costco here, I guess. Oh my God, they have din tai fung. They have din tai fung pork buns at Costco. Wow, I'm jealous. Oh wow, they have two different brands of neoromi and beef noodle soup. There's this one, and then there's this one. This one actually, this one looks super good. I don't know why. Actually, they both look good, but I'm more drawn to this one. Oh my goodness, you guys, this looks so flaky. Look at all those layers. That looks hella good. Wow, and then they have different kinds of onigiri too. Teriyaki chicken and what's this? Tuna rice ball. Oh my gosh, bird look, they sell tang yuan too. Oh, yeah. Sesame and peanut. They have the kernelin ice cream. Oh my gosh, wait, they have these in America. These are so good, remember? Yeah. We used to buy them. Those are so good. They have these super crunchy chicken flavor ruffles. Oh, and this bag feels so nice, like so yeah, fancy. Premium. premium bag. Then they have these Doritos variety packs, these chip packs, but they're interesting flavors. Like this one looks like roasted garlic, some sort of pizza, and then cheese. And then for the Cheetos ones, they have a honey one, a chicken one. And what is this? Just cheese, huh? Dude, you guys, we tried hot Cheetos in Taiwan. They are not the same, not at all. Hot Cheetos in America are better. Way but better. The, the, the one in Taiwan is not bad, but it, it doesn't taste like hot like Cheetos. Hot it more tastes like kind of like a spicy cool ranch. Ooh, these noodles look good. It says premium goose oil with crispy shallot flakes, kung fu noodles, non-fried sun-dried noodles. That looks really good. They also have these ones, which look like those curly ones. I love the curly ones. Whoa, look at this fancy ramen. Oh my god, you guys. We found these Kirkland crewnecks. Literally last year, I was obsessed with going to Costco trying to find Kirkland, like, clothing and the only thing i ever found was the shirt that's why i always wear the shirt and i wasn't able to find other things but we found this one at taiwan costco birds trying one of them on nice and of course we have to check out the lego section <laughs> wow they have the nintendo one yeah this is hard to find in america now that's so cool they have so many wow oh yeah they do have a good selection how surprising huh look at these pans they have they look so nice they have little spouts too. They have a lot of like Tupperware or like storage stuff. And they have Hello Kitty Pyrex, are you kidding me? Look how cute. We were in the area so we came by the kombucha shop that makes like boba drinks. They mix kombucha and like tea to make like fruit boba drinks. So I got the fruit tea and Bird got the lychee lychee rose. Lychee rose type drink, yeah. Nice. Oh, it's kind of like a soda. Yeah, because it's fizzy because of the kombucha. Mine's like more tart, I guess. Yeah. But I like it. It's refreshing. <laughs> One last boba before we go. Oh. <laughs> All right, we got an oolong milk tea with boba. Bird is so happy. <laughs> wow, sweet. It's good? Good one. Oh, look at how long we You didn't get like 50% sugar, man. She doesn't know. <laughs> it's so sweet. The boba's good though. Yeah. And then the drink is good. It's just really sweet. Perfect for me. I'm not even someone who thinks things are like always super sweet or anything. Like, I have a decent sweet tooth, and this is already really sweet. She's not strong enough. <laughs> We are browsing the food options. They have Ling Dong Fang beef noodles, which is the first beef noodle soup I had when I landed here for this trip. They even have Chen Shui Tang, the boba place. They have another beef noodle place. They have Mosa Han Bao, Moss Burger. And then they also have that Xiao Nan Men place that we actually ate that one night when it was raining and there was nothing else open. Got a lot of options here, actually. Okay, so we decided on this Xiao Nan Men place and we just placed an order, but then I also saw there's a beef noodle place over there. So I'm gonna go over there and maybe order <laughs> beef noodle soup. We'll see what their menu looks like. 
Okay, so I did end up ordering beef noodle soup. I got their tomato beef noodle soup because they said that's their number one most recommended thing. And we haven't actually had tomato beef noodle soup while we we're here. We just had the normal beef noodle soup. So I'm very excited. Bird also pointed out that I'm wearing white. Brave. So we will have to be careful. It's very comforting and it also still has a pretty good rich beef flavor, but then with the added tomato, it just like levels it up. It's almost like a mix of beef noodle soup and spaghetti because of the tomato. We have shalong bao, which we actually tried the that time that we ate it and we thought it was okay, but I don't know. They didn't have any other dumplings that had meat. The other dumplings they had were vegetarian, so we wanted meat dumplings. And then we have two side dishes and hot and sour soup, which we also tried and it was not hot or sour, <laughs> but it still tasted good. And we got our beef roll, look at that. I love beef rolls. We finished our food and I'm so sad that we're leaving. Very sad. I'm gonna miss the MRT because the MRT is great. It's clean, it's fast, you can get to a lot of places with it. It's also super intuitive. I'm gonna miss the food. Okay, obviously the food. And how cheap it is. And how cheap it is, yes. And you're gonna miss boba every three shops. Yes, that's very nice. <laughs> but we'll be back soon enough. Maybe sometime next year. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, gotta go on the plane. Same time. to jump on and end the vlog and since it is the last vlog of vlogmas we might as well do a giveaway for the uniqlo bags so to enter first subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell so you're notified number two like this video and number three the giveaway question of the day is what was your favorite part about vlogmas it could be a certain episode like the japan vlogs the disney vlogs the taiwan vlogs the engagement vlog that might be my favorite <laughs> or it can be a specific food, a specific place I went, or it can just be that we got to hang out every other day for almost a month. Let me know in the comments. And don't forget, if someone replies to your comment, make sure to check if it has a check mark. If you click on the profile, it takes you to the page with all my videos. Make sure it's actually me because we don't want to get scammed. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.